The Irala tribe of South India is one of the region's oldest and most distinctive indigenous communities, primarily inhabiting the Niljairai Hills, parts of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Karnataka. The Irala speak Irala, a Dravidian language closely related to Tamil and Kannada. They are well known for their snake and rat catching skills, often assisting in venom extraction for anti venom production in India. Many also work as agricultural laborers. Their religious beliefs are rooted in animism, ancestor worship, and local deities. However, Hindu influence is strong, and many Irala participate in regional Hindu festivals and rituals. The Irala are often considered descendants of pre-Aryan, indigenous South Indian populations, with possible ancestral links to the Indus Valley civilization. While direct archaeological evidence is sparse, genetic and linguistic studies suggest that tribes like the Irala may be remnants of ancient Dravidian-speaking populations that once inhabited the northwestern subcontinent before migrating southward. The Irala, along with other South Indian tribes like the Toda and Kurumba, may thus carry cultural and genetic echoes of the ancient Harapans. For this video, I've prepared the raw genomes of two Irala women, According to FST analysis, the Irala are closest to Hundi Bengalis and South Indian Brahmin. They are most distant from the orangutans, gorillas, chimps, Denisovans, and Africans. This cubium run on these two samples reveals they largely descend from the Indus Valley civilization, which accounts for almost 60% of their ancestry. Another cubium run breaks down the ancestry of Irala into West Eurasian and ASI which stands for Ancient Ancestral South Indian, a highly divergent group of humans within the East Eurasian cluster. According to this run, the Irala are roughly have West Eurasian half ASI. Now let's examine the trait predictor results of these two Irala women. We'll start with the first sample. She is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, curly or kinky hair, and a Greek nose shape. She is predicted to have higher serotonin levels, high odds of autism, to be lactose intolerant, to have lower empathy, average odds of cardiovascular issues, low odds of epithelial cancers, high homocysteine levels, no risk variants for colorblindness, and likely blood type A or B. With beta calc, she scored high for odds of alcoholism, asthma, dermatitis, hypertension, and lung cancer. With beta calc, she scored low for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, heart attack, schizophrenia, and type 1 diabetes. Now let's examine the second sample. She is predicted to have medium brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, curly hair, and snub nose shape. She is predicted to have intermediate serotonin levels, high odds of autism, to be lactose intolerant, to have lower empathy, high odds of cardiovascular issues, high odds of epithelial cancers, high homocysteine levels, one risk variant for colorblindness in OPN1SW, and likely blood type A or B. With beta calc, she scored high for odds of alcoholism, hypertension, and schizophrenia. She scored low for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, breast cancer, heart attack, and stroke. You can purchase their raw DNA in 23andMe format from the link in description of the video.